All right, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me. I just want to thank very quickly my subscribers and my viewers who've been sticking around in the last little while. Oh, their overall numbers have gone down because of the coronavirus and this and that. Even I'm not watching, you know, keeping up with the score and Sportsnet and TSN and all that stuff because there's not really much news to talk about, you know, um, in terms of, you know, when the regular season was going on. So, in, in any case, um, I was supposed to sh uh, release another video the last part of a five on five series talking about regular uh, season stats for forwards. Um, and this one was supposed to be on power play points and, and goals. I'm going to kick the can down for another 24, 48 hours down the road to do that, to talk about Kyle Clifford. Why? Because a tweet came out yesterday from Roger Dickland. Who's that? He was a former scout of the Carolina Hurricanes and the Washington Capitals. And he tweeted this three days ago. An update from the Leafs and uh, Kyle Clifford. I'm hearing the former Kings teammate Jake Muzzin has been a big influence on Clifford, explaining what a great experience he's had in Toronto, told that a potential extension would be uh, for three years at close to two million per. All right. Um, yeah, hell no. <laughs> I think just that deal... There's so many things wrong with it on, on a number of levels. I really like the player, though. Um, but just not for that term, not for that money. That's the short story. Now, Kyle Clifford, obviously, for the most part, he's a fourth liner. Um, he's played a few spot duties on the third line here and there because of injuries or Sheldon Keefe just, you know, um, the coach wanting to, you know, mix things up uh, day in, day out. Now, he's six foot two, just over 200 pounds. He's a fighter, right? He's a good four checker. He's decently defensively responsible. And um, the Leafs have just been playing with a little bit more uh, grease since he's arrived. Um, look no further than Kasperi Kapanen, especially, who's been playing like someone shoved a bunch of chili peppers down his pants. When he steps on the ice, he's in everyone's face. He's even gotten into a few fights. So he's had an effect on his teammates in a very positive way. So from a, from a locker team standpoint and an on-ice on standpoint, he's definitely a plus player. But we all know what the Leafs situation is, cap-wise, right? For the pretty much, I mean, they're effed, <laughs> to put it lightly. And they do have some players that they eventually have to think about re-signing. Um, immediately, uh, next season, there's Ilya Mikheyev, who's been injured um, from lacerated wrist. Uh, he's going to demand a raise, and they definitely have to re-sign that guy. I think they were playing him... Um, 925000 for the season until he got injured. And, you know, they may not have to throw a ton of money at him, but he's a very valuable player who could play on the second or third line. Um, he's deceivingly fast. He's got long reach. He's defensively responsible. I think he played the PK too. They got to resign that guy. And then... Who else do we have here? Travis Dermott, defenseman, uh, plays left defense, but plays on the right sometimes. He's an RFA as well. Uh, and of course, Dennis Maglin, 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 who I don't see them resigning, if maybe for minimum. Um, but I mean, there's players after uh, next season who they're going to need to resign and save money for, like Zach Hyman, right? He's going to need a big raise after making $2.250 million per uh, and, and that's just for, for starters. So there, there's, and then there's Frederick Anderson, who after next season, he's going to be UFA. And I don't want to get into that, but the Leafs desperately need a right shot defenseman and a good one if they want to be serious contenders. They just don't, they have to be very careful with the kind of uh, money they throw around. I don't care if it is, and if it is just $2 million. Remember what just happened this season, right? What's going to happen to the salary cap? They said it was going to go initially back in what was it, January. It could go up to anywhere between 84 and 88-ish million dollars per season. Well, that's it. All bets are off the books right now because of the virus and the regular season look, looking more and more like it's going to be canceled and playoffs are even a little iffy. I think those still should be happening, but what does that do to the revenues? I don't, you know, that's my, it's going down sound effect. Uh, I see that cap going up to 84 at the very, very most, and maybe even it being less than that. Um, because of all the lost revenue. So you just can't afford to be given away 
any space. You gotta be signing third, even third line players for the least you can get them, you know, uh, above league min kind of deal, you know, and fourth line players, you gotta keep it lean. You know, I mean, I really like um, Kyle Dubas in terms of his, you know, the GM of the Maple Leafs in terms of his drafting and everything and his and his whole ideas about how, how to structure the team. And But when it comes to signing players, yee, he's... His, his, some of his trades have been okay, the exception of the Patrick Marlowe one. Um, you know, they've been decent, but when it comes to signing players, I just wish somebody else did the negotiating because he's not good at it. Um, Brand, uh, Prindham, Brandon Prindham, um, who is the assistant Leafs GM, who was basically respond, respond, he was responsible for uh, constructing the current uh, NHL salary cap system in the first place, has done a real good job, job of, you know, fitting the numbers here and there, but I just don't like Dubas signing these contracts. <laughs> you can't, this isn't a responsible thing to do. Now, if Clifford wants to sign for, you know, around 1 million maybe, um, like under 1.3-ish million dollars, I, you know, at maybe two years instead of three, I might be a bit more, um, you know, okay with that. That might sound a bit more reasonable, I think. Um, but anything more, I just, just don't think it's a, it's a smart idea. Um, I would love to hear what uh, you think about this tweet. I know it's just a rumor because it's, he's not, you know, a, a real insider per se, like, you know, Elliot Friedman or um, Bob McKenzie or, or, or um, Chris Johnson or et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. Um, but it makes you wonder. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comment section down below um, about about resigning him, resigning him for the, about the term, about the money, and maybe even about Kyle Dubas in general. Uh, thanks so much. Um, hit like if you like this video. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hey, please don't forget to hit that notification bell so every time a video gets released by myself, you'll be alerted to it. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. Cheers.